right, the irrigation is going on up here and that helps to hydrate these little guys as well as a little romaine. Littlefoot was just eating some of this rosebush earlier, eating the leaves, but right now Littlefoot got nice and cooled off in the irrigation. He was laying in it. Now he's over here and if we look over here we see big old Charlie, he's getting cooled down. So the nice thing about this irrigation, just put some little sprinklers um, in your tortoise area, some little drippers. And what happens is it just gives them that ability to cool down. Ours are said to go, I think four times. They were three times a day. Now we've changed them to four. And, and it just waters everything, the hibiscuses. Next year, those are gonna be nice and big. Just some little grass that's growing around here he'll nibble off of. The rose and these, they love, love, love the grape leaves. But just having the little, little irrigation cools them down and they can, can be happy. Just have it throughout your tortoise habitat. And he, <laughs> and they will, oh no, the camera's getting wet. <laughs> and they will love it. So, thanks for watching. Take care of your little friends. And um, again, the don't feed them ice, iceberg. No iceberg for your tortoises, but um, they get a lot of water and some nutrition out of the uh, romaine, green leaf lettuce, and red leaf lettuce. But we just... Um, we just give these guys some romaine and sugar snap peas and some other things to supplement their daily diets. But the main thing I wanted to share with you now is <clears throat> the beauty of the irrigation and how it can cool off your Mojave Desert tortoise. So um, they know. Sometimes they just rest by the. Sometimes they just rest by the irrigation. So they like know that it's going to turn on and they just can't wait. So, they're smarter than you give them, most people give them credit for. And it sure feels good. Remember, they can feel through those scoots, they can feel through their shells, and, and it, they can absorb water through their shells, they absorb water through their skin, and they get water from their food. And then they also can just put their head down wherever the water, wherever just wherever the water um, gathers, whatever it, whatever you want to call it. So if we put this, for example, and I'll just start putting it right there, then it can pool right there every time irrigation goes on, and he'll be able to get water. There's a nice big flat dish. Eh, he doesn't need the dirt. Dirt won't. Dirt, dirt will settle, but um, that'll be better for him. Charlie has one on his side. I think you saw that. It's right over there. So that that collects water, and then he has access to that if he wants that. Let's go check out the babies downstairs. Let's go check out the four babies below. These are five-year-old Littlefoot, who's very large. And say 75 year old Charlie, who is also very large, much larger than anybody else. Some tortoises are, are good together, and some do better when they are um, alone. And these two do. All right, cool off, my little friends, my babies. Look how quickly it collects. And then he'll have water there. He can just go and put himself into it any time. All right, our irrigation down here in the lower part just came on. I see their water dish filling up with water over there. And little Merida and Michelangelo, they just came out to get a little water intake through their romaine. I love their grape leaves. <laughs> Donatello. 
Check out that water. Yeah, water source there. So just so they can cool down. So now they can have a place to put their body. But look at how cute. He just wants to, to put himself on my little foot. They do that quite often. And they're just very lovable. Hi, baby. Hi, sweetie. Um, your tortoises are more affectionate than you even realize. So um, they do like to be around people. Well, that's what he's doing now, but my toenail's not, my toenail is not a flower and it's not a leaf, no, it's not, and I love you too. Yeah, hi princess, what are you doing? There's some water right there and I don't even think you really realize that that one is there. I've seen you guys drinking out of it. And then again, there's little Merida. And princess over there. I have my hose kind of up like that because I don't want to get them caught in it. And then their little hide is there um, with bricks all around it and uh, wood and a lot of lot of dirt on top of it so for them to get cooled off in. And what do you know? There's little little Donatello over here at my feet, just loving on me. Okay, that is so sweet. I love you too, honey. And they just set their, their leg down like that because they just are Swiss way of loving me. So by doing this, it just allows them to get water throughout the day. Again, the water comes on four times a day and um, they'll know, they learn where and when it cools and then they can put their head down and get a drink of water. So yes, tortoises can go a year without water, but why go a year without water? I'm sure it's very difficult for them and it's not a desirable thing to do. So let's be kind to our, our babies, our tortoises. Sometimes I just like to sit in the water. Is that what we're doing over here right now? Donatello just sitting. Yeah. Okay. All right, so that's it for now. Please hydrate.
by water, by food. Uh, again, irrigation is a great thing to take advantage of. Take advantage of your irrigation, have it work for you and your tortoises. Again, that's Donatello, three years old. He'll be four in August. Mojave Desert Tortoise. He's pretty small, all things considered. 